All right, y'all, it's your boy. You hear me? You hear me? Hey, look, y'all, man. Let me turn that beat on real loud. No, turn it down. Lay it down. Hey, look, man. I didn't, man, I don't know what to say, man. All right. The old mayor of Talisman, man, called me up and said he had some stuff for me. Some old junk that he wanted to get rid of, throw away. So, y'all, I'm, I'm kind of, I went and got the stuff, and I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I went and got the stuff, man. Uh, real nice, good, cool guy. You know, his, he said he was 79, 78, but real nice, cool guy, hip, got the internet. He got in touch with me through Facebook, Instagram, you know, in, uh, messaged me, and he was asking that I want to come get some of this scrap metal that he had laying around at this old um, store that his daddy used to own back in the days. And I said, sure, man, thank you for looking out. I'm sure going to come get it. Give me, he gave me the address, and it was on a seven minute, well, 10 minutes away from here, so I went and got it. And it's some antique stuff, man. I don't really know what to do. I really don't want to throw it away. I actually really want to see if it's worth some. I know a lot of y'all know. I know a lot of y'all watch a lot of videos everywhere. I know y'all from everywhere, from everywhere, because this is Alabama where I'm at, so everything in Alabama pretty much antique. You hear me? Uh, so I want to see if y'all know if this stuff is valuable or not before I throw it away, before I get, you know, $40, $50 for the stuff and I could have got four or five hundred thousand for the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or forty thousand or whatever. Some. I just wanna see if it worth some man. But uh I just wanna show y'all man, y'all see how the shade. I gotta cut it again. Hair growing back already. I'm gonna shave my head bald. Hair growing back already. I did do a little lineup this morning just to see what it looked like. But yeah, I shaved it all the way off. Shaved my beard all the way off. Kept my goatee. I'm gonna try to tighten that up. Uh, today, maybe tomorrow. Let me just let it go all the way back out. I don't know. It make me look weird and funny, look different. I'm 40, and I ain't scared to be 40. You know what I'm saying? 40 is a long time, man. That's, that's four decades, four decades of living. So that's a long time and still young. I'm still young, but I live four decades. Y'all see what I'm saying? So it's not old. Don't start saying old, man. Y'all cheering out there, man. Tomorrow, somebody old. Y'all can call me unk, though. I am unk these, but that'll work. But man, I'm gonna show y'all this right quick, man. Show y'all this stuff, man, he gave me. And I don't know. I think it's I think this stuff is uh I don't think it's junk. I don't think it is. Y'all tell me though. Here I go. Alright, we're gonna start off with this. What is Remington? Remington ran aristocrat file cabinet. All these doors open open functionally. You know what I'm saying? Like this, you pull the handle, of course you pull that little piece to the side. And you pull the draw open. This is an old file cabinet, man. And all, and clothes shut good too, and everything. And all on work. All the cabinet part work. So I'm always looking in the back of these things. Cause I remember one time, a long time ago, my mom had uh, bought a cabinet. I'm gonna still check back there some more. My mom had bought a file cabinet one time from, uh, it was back in the early. Late 90s. She bought a file cutter from uh, the flea market. And we pulled the drawers all the way out of it and looked in the back. It was uh, about 30, $32 bills in the back of. I don't know if it was worth some or not back then. I don't know what my mama had did with it, to tell you the truth. I don't know what she had did with it, but it was like 30, $32 bills. That was my first time I ever seeing $2 bills and stuff back then in the late 90s. So it was like 98, 90, 97, 98. So it was my first time ever seeing uh, uh, two dollar bills. So that's the file cabinet, man. I don't know. It's in good shape. All the doors open and close good. So would y'all think that worth some or not? I don't think I'm gonna take cross scale. I don't think I'm gonna take cross scale. Not just yet. Let me get for investigation on it first. I don't think I'm gonna take that cross scale. But here's the other unique thing right here, man. I think he said this is a 1947. Or 37 refrigerator. Like I told you how my auntie say refrigerator. So that's what it was called a refrigerator. So she still say that now. Open that refrigerator. Let me show y'all man about this refrigerator, man. I'm gonna come finna clean it up in a minute, pressure wash it. 
I think this is rust, because this is a metal refrigerator. I think it is rust. Yeah. It's rust and dirt all in one. But it is in good. I'm gonna curse just the one time, y'all. Let me curse the one time. I think it's good ass shit. Good ass shit. It's a metal. It's metal though, I know. Listen. It's metal. And it's just a brand. Never heard of it before I Google it. Hot point. But uh y'all let me know. Look at this the handle. Good shape. Ain't broke. Open up good. The inside. This is how they used to make these refrigerators back in the days. To keep stuff cold. And dog. Uh, the refrigerator just stopped working. He told me it just stopped working three weeks ago. So that could be anything. Could have been just a faulty wire. Could be out of Freon or what. But I plugged it up, it came on, so it got a little cool, but it wasn't cold. And I guess this is how they used to have it freezer back in the days on these things. It just right here get real cold. Get real, real cold. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I got myself some or not. And uh, so this right here, that tree right there must well catch the water. Like, you know, when it get real cold, I kind of catch the ice, when the ice get cold, you know, not much catch the water. Cause I don't see no purpose with that, unless you put some in it. So right there must catch the water um, from the freezer side of it. Like the refrigerator does not have a, a bucket, a bowl, if y'all don't know, in the back side, they got like a little tray in the back that catch the water, but it gets so hot up under there that it evaporates so fast. All these metal racks, this is Charles, like, like I do, Captain City, all this metal. All this metal right here. And you know, like the metal, like in our house, how we have refrigerators now with the drawers, you put your, you know, your eggs or something in here. This is nice, man. It's nice. Yeah, this is nice. I don't think I'm a junkie. I think I'm going to clean it up. 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 Clean it up.
It's a water faucet. You can tell it was new because the tag's still on it. Water faucet head, copper lines. I don't know. So the other drawers they're empty, but they open up good. They open up good. All of them open up good. I don't know. Want to get me some out over to check it out before I just throw it away? I guess this is an old plug, man. Before they started cleaning the house style, get yeah, one at the top, back side, old plug. Looks like they made them new style for our generation. Put this stuff back in the drawer real fast. Close it up. This stuff right here, I don't know what this stuff is either. Got a little metal fin pipes. Might not be nothing, y'all. Look at the brand new bag of stuff. You say tubes. Brown, browning tubes. So y'all know what this is, man. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Electrical tubes. So I guess this is what these is. They made for, I don't know. But if y'all know, let me know. Before I throw it away. Let's see what's in this bag. See, you reason I be checking these bags, man, like I said. Should be something in here. Some old brown and two. Might be different sizes from the separate bags in this one bag. So that could be valuable. Might not, might not be, maybe. I don't know if this certain cloth is. All these drawers and stuff work, man. That whole cabinet straight too. The whole cabinet good. Everything work on it. I don't know, man. What y'all think? We got three items, three antique items that I should uh, keep. Y'all think I should keep? We got three antique items. Y'all think I should keep them, clean them up, try to sell them? I ain't gonna hoard them. I'm not gonna save them like around the house. I don't need them. But if they worth some money, I think it'll be worth to try to get that money from them. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think I should uh, go and take part of the scale? I think I should see if they worth some. If y'all know they worth some, let me know. Um, hit me, you know, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook. Let me know if you know anything about it. But man, I'm gonna get out of here, man. Uh, today my anniversary, 14 years, and we're gonna get out here and make something happen. Try to celebrate the best way we can. Uh, just a message, man. Just let y'all know, man. You gotta enjoy life, man. Keep people out your business, and uh, life will go on. You know what I'm saying? We all live to be happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody come in this world to be sad. So, with that being said, man, I'm out, y'all. It's your boy. You hear me? So.